hopefully a solution could be found. In the past two years, there have been 37 applications to the council for a brown sign. 24 were approved. The authority says the policy is generally working well and stresses it's about safety, not advertising. Back in Deverin, landlord John Callan says the decluttering in Fioc means there isn't a level playing field and officials need to think about this. Meanwhile, this lunch party at the pub would have welcomed a bit more direction. So you need at least another one, doesn't it? Wouldn't you say? Yeah, one more sign. One more sign to point down this way from it. Despite Councillor Fonk's attempts, a scrutiny committee has recommended that the council's current policy on brown tourism signs is maintained and isn't reviewed. And this will now go back to full council for a vote. OK, Tamsin, thank you for that. Your reaction, give us a call, please, here until 3 double two double two double two. Spen, every time we try to get through to your your mobile phone suddenly sort of cuts out. So I know you're at Trilisk. Be patient. We will try again. But now it's going to have to be uh, after the news. Um, it's a lot of tweets coming through. Lee the Mank talking about alcohol seems to have dominated pretty well much of the programme today. Um, he says a, a mate opened a pub in France, ended in hospital after opening night. The wife found him unconscious. I don't know if that was through drink or whatever. But one night cost him €2,000. Uh, Mutley42, I got lost in Mutley Plain yesterday. Anyway, uh, it says preloading is due to a lack of parental control and parental education. This problem should be addressed at home. Um, And uh, THFC Pat says Lawrence on holiday abroad, no pay, no treatment, simple. What's the programme problem with it happening here in this country? Uh, a text has come through, uh, several texts. Um, uh, T in Lawrence, parents' rights over their children are slowly being uh, taken away from them by the government. 